So, EA gave a few players a base icon player pick. For cheap, fast, and reliable foot coins, check out u7buy.com. There is a link in the description. And use the code HABER to get yourself a discount on all of your orders. Now, I hold my hands up. There is a little bit of clickbait in there. There really is. It's a loan base icon player pick. Um, if you have email notifications on and you log into FIFA, you'll, you'll get a base icon player pick for free. Uh, now, it is only a loan base icon player pick. But what's important about this is that if you take this into friendlies, you get to use these players for the rest of FIFA. You don't have to only use them for three games. Um, now, the three players you get, obviously, are Cruyff, Puskas, and Pele, like you saw. Um, but like I said, in life of friendlies, you can use these for an unlimited amount of games. Now... Throughout the year, we're going to get objectives in Live Foot Friendlies. We're going to get most objectives in the friendly mode like we did last year. So you're essentially going to get an 89 or a 91 rated icon for free for the entirety of the year that you can use in Live Foot Friendlies. Now, what's also massive is that stats actually track from Live Foot Friendlies now. So this Pele will actually have his games played and how many goals he scored from Live Foot Friendlies this year. I know, it's actually mad. So tra uh, stats track on the player for Live Foot Friendlies. And you get an unlimited amount of games with lone players and life friendlies. This is actually a big win. I'm actually quite impressed. This is this is pretty cool. So yes, it's not a proper base icon player pick, all right. But times are tough, and you've got to do what you've got to do to try and attract the viewers. You know what I mean? <laughs> But it technically is a base icon player pick. And I thought I would make a little video showing you guys that you can get a base icon player pick with an unlimited, you know, amount of games on any of these lone players. I picked Pele because I think Pele just looks ridiculous for this year's game. He's got decent strength, good shooting, good dribbling, great pace, the five-star, four-star. Uh, I think Cruyff would also be absolutely sick for this game as well. That's not the entire video, though. We do have some stuff to show you guys. I actually qualified for Foot Champions via the Champs Playoffs, which you can see the rewards for that. We have some 100k packs and some gold upgrades. Enjoy the video, guys. We'll see what we get from uh, from my um, rewards. Then we'll see what we get because um, that was that was a stressful experience, to be honest. So we'll see what we get uh, from our. These are just the playoff rewards. These aren't foot champions rewards. You get foot champions rewards um, when you play foot champions. First packs. Uh, Alexandro is not bad. That's all right. From a gold players pack with only one rare gold, that's pretty decent. Obviously, a lot of these will be duplicates as well. Um, Alexandro is 2,000 coins this year. Okay, then. Um, that's not a bad first pack, though. We'll take a board from a gold player's pack. Can we get a walkout? These don't have a guarantee on them as well. I think the normal premium gold player's packs have, like, an 82 rated plus guarantee. These don't have a rating guarantee on them, which is very interesting. Uh, first one's a walkout. Hugo Lloris. We'll take it. We got a walkout from our first premium gold player's pack for champions qualification for the, for the playoffs. I'll take that. I'll take that. Not bad. Not bad at all. Anything else in there? Uh, we got Thorgan Azar. What's uh, what's Hugo going for? Oh, he's about 13k. I think he'll go up a little bit as well, to be honest. The market's really low right now. But that's alright, to be honest. That's not bad at all. We'll take that. Uh, we've got another premium gold players pack now. Imagine back-to-back -back walkouts. The dream. It is a board. Spanish striker. It's going to be uh, Alvaro Morata. Not ideal, but there's a lot of rewards to get this year. You get a lot of packs. You got Sushek in there as well. All right, Morata was under the transfer list. Don't think Sushek sells for anything. Um, nor does Carlos Sola. I'll be honest with you. So for going five and four, I mean it was it was difficult. It was difficult. I'll open some packs whilst we chat. It was difficult going five and four. Even with my God Squad, I played against one pro player. Probably I'd say two elite level players, maybe three elite level players. Um and then I played against a few people that are just obviously sweating really hard because it is a really difficult game mode to play. Um, and I think it, it was difficult. But one thing I like this year is, although, for example, rival rewards aren't necessarily as good as previous years, we get rival reward packs. We get qualification reward packs, which are those packs we just saw. We also get champs rewards, which if you qualify for champs, if you go, I think, 4 and 8, you get the equivalent of like a gold 3 reward. Sorry, 4 and, four and 16 even. Uh, if you go 4 and 16, you get the equivalent of like a um, a gold 3 set of rewards. If you go 8 and 12, you get an elite level set of rewards. You get a premium team of the week pack and 100k pack for going 8 wins and 12 losses, which is mental. So, although it's difficult, I think this year it's going to be a little bit easier to get coins, even with the lesser rewards, because... We're getting three different sets of rewards every single week. And if you play all 20 games, you can get them on the weekend. You can also get squad battle rewards. That's four sets of rewards every single week. They're given out on Sunday morning. So you could legit legitimately get 
Div Driver Rewards Thursday, Champs Qualification uh, Rewards Friday, Champs Rewards on Saturday or Sunday, and Champs, uh, uh, sorry, Scoreback Rewards on Sunday morning. The amount of packs you'll get is ridiculous, to be fair. And although they're a little bit less in terms of value than last year, I'm a big fan of that. We have two 100k packs right now for Jamie. Can we get him something decent out of his two 100k packs? First one is not a walkout. That is disappointing. Sabitza. The bare minimum, which is which is an 84 plus, and he's got Sabitza. That is that is not a great start at all. That is not a great start at all. An inform in there. Sabitza. Some 83s. Lucas Mora. Yo, Loki, that's a bad 100k pack. Oh, the, the next one's got to be so much better than this, please. The next one has to be better. The next one's got to be better than this. Come on, please. EA, walk out. Walk out right here, please. Icon. Let's get an icon. Why not? Let's get an icon, EA. Come on. What we get him? No walk out. Grealish. Grealish. Jack Grealish. Oh, my word. Oh, no, man. That is so bad. And Babu's all right. We're taking in Babu. He's like, he's worth a little bit. But the rest of that's awful. Oh, man. He's done so badly there. He's been mugged off by EA. That is tragic. All right. Well, we've got the small gold players pack from the early access SBC. And then 15, I think. Was it 15 gold upgrade packs? So I'm hoping we can get a walkout or something like that. Uh, in one of these gold upgrade packs, realistically. We're hoping we can get something decent. I think so far, the best pull I've had from a gold upgrade was Bruno. And that's a sick pull. So if we get anything better than Bruno, we are absolutely loving life. Because Bruno is a sick pull. Um, but I just love doing gold upgrades. These gold upgrades are cracked if you do a lot of them. It's like anything, really. If you have a lot, if you can do a lot, you're probably going to get something good. Right? The odds, the odds are in your favor if you do a lot of them. So with gold upgrades, the odds are in your favor if you can do a lot of them. Um, although we've not started off very well. Hey, we have our first board. It's going to be German striker, Timo Werner. I've already got him untradeable. Uh, this is like the third or fourth time I've packed Timo Werner in a gold upgrade pack. And it's a shame because he's worth about 50k almost. Urgh! I've already got him untradeable, EA. And I've already done the uh, Shakiri SBC. So there's literally nothing I can put him in. Unfortunately, if I, unless I just put him into another gold upgrade. I mean, we'll take it. It's decent, but yeah, I already got him untradeable. We do get Rebic, though. Rebic looks sick. as like a left wing. You can play a striker. He looks pretty good. But um, yeah, I mean, Timo Verne is good. It's just a shame that he's already untradeable. But like I said, do these gold upgrades. These gold upgrades are good. I remember on my RTG account, I packed... Um, didn't really want to see Emmy Martinez after Saturday, did I? Oh, we got an inform. Inform Kamara. Ola Kamara. Sounds like a magic trick. Ola Kamara. That's like someone from Harry Potter. Um, sadly, he probably didn't go for anything, but it's nice to have informs in the club, I guess. Oh, my word. As I said about these being good, this set, this batch right here has been absolutely awful. It's been terrible. Um, it's been absolutely awful. We've got three left, though. Can it change with one walkout? I mean, one walkout could change it all. You know, a little messy or something would be nice, but right now we're getting just duplicate city. All right, we've got two more. Come on, yeah, please. 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 One walk out out of the last two. Nope, not even a board. We've had one board so far. One. No, wait. Have we had one? I mean, the team of the week is technically a board. Oh, I've already got him untradeable as well. All right, last one. Come on, EA. Please. Hook a brother up. Hook a brother up. We do get a board in the last pack. It's going to be Spanish. Oh, it's ass pass. Not great. Well, at least we got a board in the last pack. No, like, Lacroix. I'm surprised we haven't had a Lacroix sent just there yet, though. That's a surprising thing. I thought we'd get one of those by now. 